Spanish, go get your water. Everything you good. I'm good. All right, it's about to be a live set now. Hot nuts. Hey there. Hey man, I've been I've been here since about eleven, man. No, waiting you for you, man. No, you <laughs> have. Since about noon, man. No, you have. Uh, no, you have. Good to see you, though. What's up, man? Good to see you, man. Cool. Man. Good. 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 Ooh, three, four, and a two, one. You like that, huh? You oh, like that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks one tackle to the 40, fights three! He's on his way! A spectacular run by Thurman Thomas! When God created Barry Sanders, even he didn't know what he made. This call him the best all-around back in the NFL. They were two of the NFL's greatest running backs ever. And long before they became teammates for eternity in Canton, Ohio, they were teammates in the same college backfield. A pair of All-Americans from Oklahoma State. Thurman Thomas and then Barry Sanders following Thomas at tailback. Back to back out of the same university. And the one likeness of Thomas and Sanders, such incredible balance. I think they're both fearless too. I think I would have liked, liked Buffalo. I don't know if I would have liked to run and shoot. Right. Yeah, I didn't know if I liked it either. <laughs> See, I didn't know if I liked it. I knew it. I yeah, knew it. I didn't know if I liked it either. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, I didn't like that offense. If I'm in that offense, I'm probably catching 40 to 50 passes catching, a year. Right. Remember though, we didn't have Jim Kelly at quarterback. Right. <laughs> Ooh. No, so hey, it probably been more run than shoot. <laughs> we talked about the hype, the battle between the two ex-teammates. Oh, I gave the best response ever when they asked me who was the best back in the National Football League. Who was the best back in uh, football? I don't know, but he went to Oklahoma State. I don't know, but he went to Oklahoma State. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. So, I mean, right. that was the answer that I gave. And that statement was true. Hey, I'm with you, man. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I'm that with, statement with was you. true. Well, he wouldn't remember the first time we met. No, I don't right? think because, I do remember. Because, because I, I met him on my recruiting trip. All of 85. They always wanted the, the recruits to meet Thurman. I was nowhere on, on anybody's screen. That's not something you would have remembered. You know, I mean, I didn't really know too much about him. Right, just, right. you know, I was first team, you were second team. We were just going through plays and practice and everything. I wasn't and second team, but I, I was, yeah. I, you, I, I, guess, I guess as far as you're concerned, everyone was second team because you were first team. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, that was my job. I would have been probably six or seven, like, coming in on, on the depth chart, you know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. Which, which was fine. You know, because I was just, I was glad to be there. Just for the record, you said my nickname was Hot Nuts. All of the rest of the running backs' nickname was Hot Nuts, <laughs> except you, right? He, 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 this is Mr. Thomas, the rest of your Hot Nuts. <laughs> but that's beside the point. I, I, do, you, do you remember certain people would fall asleep? Fall asleep, yeah, right, not right, me. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I was paying yeah. attention. Right, right. You were the one that was falling asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would, as soon I as those lights went off, right. ooh, I've never seen a man sit in his chair like this and be totally asleep like this. Yeah, yeah, I used to be knocked out on there. But I, but I figured, hey, look, w the program is in good hands. Thurman, <laughs> Thurman's doing everything. <laughs> right, right, yeah. You know, what, what do I need to, to listen to any of this stuff for? I'm, I'm just basically playing special teams and all that. See, I, I just want to make sure, I just want to see if you actually remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember yeah. that, yeah. As soon as those lights went off, it was no more than five minutes. I you don't know if it was that quick, but. Okay, five, okay, 10 minutes. It'll be taken up the goal line by Barry Sanders. What I do remember, though, was the opening kickoff. Yeah, that was my sophomore year. That was your year. sophomore year, yeah. running that sucker back 100 yards. Touchdown, come on! Oh, thank you, what a way to begin the year! My sophomore year, when I had taken over the kick return duties, on the road, we roomed together. We roomed together. For me, that was, that was kind of cool, just to be able to kind of see what you were doing. Touchdown, Cowboy! You can call that one here, Thomas. You were a young player then, but you were very serious about every part of the game. Every, you know, every when it came to blocking, it. when it came to pass routes, yeah. running, whatever. I understand why it was more like a peer relationship between you and the coaches, because like, they knew that you did everything. You were serious about everything, yeah. right? And did everything well. And so watching that every day for me for those two years was very important, because I don't think I ever remember thinking it was important to, like, block somebody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what would well, I want to do that for? You right, know? exactly, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but somewhere during the season, Pat Jones was like, I would like to try to get you 2,000 yards. It's like, well, coach, you know, I'm not all about numbers. I don't even care about all this stuff. You know, I said, hey, look, you got a guy behind me. 
he can play. So when those games got to, you called it garbage time, but it was a time for you to shine. Right, right. I was like, coach, I don't need to play no more. Really? Oh, yeah. You know? Wow. And I was well, kind of like. Oh, you, man. I was, yeah, right. was kind of like on my way, you know? Right, but right. I, no, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I yeah, felt yeah, like cool. I'm not that type of player where, you know, I just want to win games. They wrote in some plays to put me in with you. <laughs> at, I was at offset at wingback or something wing like back. that. wingback. You know, and it would, we would run a little reverse. Yep. Right? And there's still a picture floating around of me, you, and Mike Gundy. And Gundy in the same, uh, backfield, in the same backfield. Yeah. same backfield. And that was, for me, another one of those bites of the apple where, okay, you know, I'm actually in with Thurman. Yeah. In crunch time. Right. Wow, that's, that's kind of cool that we actually were on the field at the same time. Right. Thomas plus one. Second touchdown for Thurman Thomas. I'd love to see how many carries you have because you, I mean, that's all we did. We yeah. give you the ball. Everybody's thinking Thurman Thomas is going to carry the ball, of course. And he has done this for the last three years, his break tackles. The fact that you ended up having a big senior year, that was big. And it was just a great year for Oklahoma State football. Oklahoma State lost only twice all season. Figured you would be a first rounder after that year. I think I, I did enough to get drafted in the first round. Right, Obviously right, that right, didn't right. happen though. The yeah. phone has finally rung in Stillwater, Oklahoma for running back Thurman Thomas. The Buffalo Bills picked me with the 40th pick. Tomorrow night, Oklahoma State kicks off the 1988 football season. The big question in Stillwater, can kick returning wizard Barry Sanders replace All-American Thurman Thomas in the backfield? The year you left. No they still football. had you playing special teams? Exactly right, right. Really? Right, I know. But you was a, I mean, you was a guy, though. Not really. Did no, it start off that way? Going into that game, it was more like, we'll see what happens. And then you just yeah, we, went that, bananas. Not, yeah. Sanders, 1,141 yards is the most ever gained in five consecutive games. And you had like 1,000 yards in like five games or whatever, you know? And my coach, Eliza Pitts, would always look at me and go, did we draft the right guy? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, really? I'm in Buffalo. There's no way I'm looking at the games or whatever. So right, right. I don't yeah. know how I got that number. I used to call from my hotel. Right, right. I right, would right, call. Right. A trainer would pick up the phone. I say, "Man, what's going on? Man, what's going on? Man, Barry got about 300 yards." And <laughs> this, three, is this is during, during the game. This is during the game. Yeah, That's every crazy. single game, man, it was crazy how that happened. Sanders' 31 touchdowns and 186 points are two of the seven NCAA season records he has already broken or tied. And with two regular season games remaining, he has a legitimate shot at seven others. Well, it was great, man, to pass the torch on to you. And once I left, man, I was like, it's in good hands. In my formative years, he never treated me like he was the big guy on campus, even though everyone knew he was. I think that allowed me to be comfortable, grow and develop, and watch greatness every day. I think I, I certainly benefited from that. The fact that you and I are sitting here, you know, as members of the Hall of Fame, yeah. that we were sitting in the same meeting room in Stillwater, Oklahoma, at some point, you know? <laughs> That's yep. just, it's just kind of crazy it's to think crazy. about. All no, the but, things that have happened. We've always had a connection and we always will. And uh, I appreciate you.